Hi, everyone. Today I'm going to read you this story called, There Must Be More Than That. There's some funny illustrations on the cover, aren't there? Let's see what this story is about. There must be more than that. Oh no, it's raining. Dad said it would be sunny today, but you can't always trust grown-ups. Hi, brother. Hey, sis, do you want to know something? Our future is doomed. Huh? What does future mean? Future is what happens later, like tomorrow or next year or 10 years from now. Terrible things are going to happen in our future. That's what a grown-up told my friend. We're going to run out of food because there are too many people. There will be plagues and wars and alien invasions. The earth will be destroyed. By the time we grow up, things are going to be terrible. No way. Really? Oh, Grandma, our future is doomed. Oh, my. Why do you say that? Well, my brother told me so. You can see in her thought bubble all the terrible things she's worried about. Ah, I see. Don't worry. No one really knows what will happen in the future. Sure, there will be bad things, but there will be lots and lots of good things too. Grown-ups act like they can predict the future, but they're not always right. Well, Dad said that it was going to be sunny today, but he was wrong. See, that's what I mean. Grown-ups often tell you to choose one of two things. But neither of them seems right. There are more choices over here. I choose this one. He was giving her a choice between what looks to me to be a kitty cat and a puppy, and she chose a lobster. It's okay to find something new on your own. There are so many possible futures. You're right. There must be more than just two or three. Exactly. There must be more than that. <laughs> hey, you. Our future isn't going to be bad at all. There are lots of possible futures, like a future with hot dogs every day, a future where it's okay to spend the day in your pajamas, a future where every Saturday is Christmas, a future where robots take us everywhere. My goodness, that looks so cool. They're flying over the city with a robot. A future where someone always catches the strawberry you drop. A future where someone does your homework for you. A future where your room has a zero gravity switch. That looks like fun, doesn't it? That sounds great, says the brother. I want a future where someone always catches my strawberries. See? Pretty cool, huh? Okay, what are some other possible futures? Do I have to throw away my shoes when they get too small? No, I can use them as planters instead. Will I be pushing carrots to the side of my plate for the rest of my life? No way. I can ban them when I grow up. I'm a slow runner, but does that mean I'll never come in first place? 
no, I might be first place in a funny face contest. <laughs> Will I have to put up with that bully forever? Nope. He might be abducted by aliens tomorrow. Or maybe I'll fall in love and I won't even care that I was bullied. If I get yellow paint on my clothes, will my mom get mad at me? Maybe not if I paint everything else yellow too. <laughs> Your room looks pretty cool with yellow polka dots everywhere, doesn't it? There are always alternatives and it's fun to think about what they might be. Sometimes people ask, do you love it or hate it? Or is it good or bad? Or is that person your friend or your enemy? But there must be other options. Not bad, hard to say, questionable, interesting could be okay. Strange. I don't know. Instead of love or hate, maybe I prefer love eight. I love eight you, daddy. She loves her daddy, but she was mad when he said it was going to be sunny and it rained. So maybe that's a way of expressing that mixed emotion. Grandma, when I grow up, I'm going to get a job thinking about different futures. What a great idea. But I'll probably be gone by then. No way. That isn't the only option, Grandma. Tomorrow, you might feel so great you could take a trip around the world. Or maybe tomorrow, you'll wake up as a teddy bear. <laughs> Who knows? You could end up living for 300 years. Wow, that's some birthday cake with 300 year candles on it, right? Oh, you're right, says the grandma. There must be more for me than that. The future's so cool, isn't it? It sure is. Phew, hi mom, what's for dinner? Huh, just leftovers. But we have some eggs, do you want one? Boiled or fried? What? Mom, not just boiled or fried, there are more ways to make an egg than that. There's a fried egg, or a boiled egg, or an omelet, or a rolled egg, or a scrambled egg. Oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> look at all these eggs. A rubber band egg, and a padded egg, a candy egg, a squeezed egg, that one's funny, in between her knees. A bath egg, a shoe egg, a sticker egg, a painted egg, a belly button egg, a mirror egg. That almost looks like two eggs, doesn't it? A brush egg, a balloon egg, a leaf egg. The cat egg is a funny one, isn't it? A book egg or a watch egg. Hmm, a staring egg. A tied egg. A crown egg. A racing egg. <laughs> egg on egg. A towering egg. Oh my goodness, that looks like it's going to fall. See, the future is full of possibilities. Okay, I get it. I'll make whatever you want. How would you like your egg? Hmm. Can't decide. 
I guess I'll have a boiled egg today. Got it. <laughs> the end. Oh, that was a funny story, wasn't it? I hope you guys liked it. I did. I think the lesson in this story is we all have the opportunity to look at things a different way. So, for example, when the little girl got up and looked outside, she was kind of sad that it was raining out. But you could look at that a different way and think that the flowers and the plants need the rain. So that might change the way you think about it. And her brother had one idea about the future because somebody told him some sad things, but then she decided to look at it a different way, thanks to her grandmother. And imagine all the possibilities that could be different. So use your imagination and think about how you want things to be and then make it happen even if it's just in your imagination. Hope you guys enjoyed that story. And come back soon so I can read to you some more, okay? Have a great rest of the day.